David add on 263-070. White Dodge Charger. Stay right there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I've got five walks. Five walks. Okay. All you had to do is stop and take a ticket. Now you're going to jail. Congratulations. Right here, 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 here. I have five to go. Ten four. I've got a little station. Ten four. Ten four. Ten four. Ten four. Ten four. 
your hands up. They're all complying. Once you get over here, I'll back up and we can get them out. You got them? Driver, with your right hand, open that door from the outside. Stand by, stop. Everybody just keep your hands up. Step out, face away from us. Keep your keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Turn around. Turn around. Walk backwards to me. With your left hand, turn the radio off. Back, right, or back left passenger, open the door from the outside. You're good, push the door open. It's stuck, all right, stop right there. Front passenger, crawl across. Yes, crawl across. Turn around, walk back to me. Walk back, walk back, walk back. Get her. Keep your hands up. Step out. Face away from me. Face away from me. Let me see your left hand. Here's left hand. Right hand. Go with me. Don't talk. You got to say, stop, stay right there. Shut up, bro. Shut up. Get on the ground. You take it over. Hey, crawl across. Hey, y'all quit talking. Quit talking. Quit talking. Just crawl across to me. Crawl across. Come on. Crawl across from me. Come on. Crawl across. Come on. You got no weapons on you? No, sir. You got extra Do what? Tim, back up. Hey, Paul, back up. Come off of it. Did you take him? The guy that was standing right here? No, he's right here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You good? How about you back up? Or just walk him over here to the Sarge. I'm just trying to open the road back up. 
Today's Monday, July 25th. The year is 2022. This video you all just watched, these police officers chasing those young people in that Dodge Charger gave me a lot of anxiety because I didn't know how it was going to end. Um, I came across this video and I said, okay, oh boy, these, these kids are crazy. Running from the police, did they really think they were going to be out able to outmaneuver those police officers in those cars. The way he ran those red lights endangering so many people's lives. I didn't know how it was going to end. I was like on the edge of my seat like, okay, this is this isn't good. And it was very concerning to me because, you know, we sometimes see these incidents go awry where people get killed in these car accidents running from the police. Why were they running from the police in the first place? Who knows? What you were trying to avoid a traffic ticket or speeding ticket with some drugs in the car? Is this worth risking your life? Is it really worth dying for? I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm a little confused. I look at these young folks and some of the crazy shit. You know, I've been young and stupid, and trust me, I've made some stupid shit and mistakes in my entire life. I ain't never got drove in a reckless manner that puts everybody's life in danger. The, the passengers in the car, other drivers in the area, he blew through those intersections with red lights and what was this all about? I'm still confused. And because they never went into it, they, I, I was watching it. I didn't see where they found any drugs or weapons inside the car. Did anybody else see that? <sighs> I'm just thinking to myself, what was this all about? And maybe you all can help me understand what I just watched in that video. And I, was, and I saw a couple of these different videos where these police officers go in these high-speed chases. Um, and you never quite understand why are these people running. What makes you think you're going to outrun these police officers? Not officer, but multiple police officers for multiple agencies. They're, they're, drunk, they're high on their own drugs or what? You know, every encounter kind of I've ever had the police, I was like, okay, let me get this on over with, get my ass on down, let me comply and get this on over with so I can get on back home. I promise, you know. I've had some incidents I regret. God knows I do. You know, we you know God don't exist. If you don't know, now you know. But to put your life in danger and passengers in your car and nobody told this fool to stop. I mean, I'm just wondering what is going on in their heads and they all end up and they arrested all of them, which I don't, I don't quite understand why they put them all in handcuffs. Um, they went driving the car. Obviously, it was one driver. I don't, I'm not sure what that was about or how, how the law works. If you're in a passenger in the car, clearly you're in the backseat of the car and this fool driving like a bat out of hell running from the police. What can you do but hold on for dear life and pray and hope y'all don't get killed in a car accident? Maybe y'all can give me some insight on why they arrested or at least temporarily handcuffed the other passengers in the car. Maybe I'm missing something, you know, I don't know. Maybe you all could give me a better insight as to why that took place or what happened. And maybe you all also can find out what happened to this in this situation. Um, did he ran from the police? What were they charged with? What other people tried? It looked like this was in, I don't know where it was. I think it was Arkansas. I might have to go, in fact, let me see something. I don't know, I might be able to see where it was. Let's go back up the history. Um, let me just look. Yeah, the history. Let's see earlier today. It is. It was Arkansas State Police. Um, Start. Arkansas State Police. Dodge Charger. 
I don't really understand this. Let me see, maybe I could read some more. It's not giving me the information. It's not giving me, it just says a Dodge Charger tries to black out from Arkansas State Police. They're definitely in Arkansas. He's running from the Arkansas State Police. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna say, but I think that video shows that it was. It happened on July 9th. Hmm. Let me see something. Let's see if I can Google it. Let's just see if we come up with anything so we can kind of see, get some type of perspective of niggas running from the damn police. What the fuck were they running for? And what happened to your crazy asses? Uh, let's see. Guy here. Hmm. hmm. Dodge Charger attempts to flee from Arkansas State Police with pregnant girlfriend in the car. Um, is this it? You know, this is a different video from July 3rd. What about these crazy people in these Dodge Chargers? They ain't got shit else to do but run from the damn police. <laughs> what the hell was that about? My, uh, that's kind of crazy. Yeah, I think I got to sit to do that. I'll probably be running from no damn police. Mm. Yeah, that's kind of. Let me say this. I'll come back to watch this one. Hmm. There we go. I just saw the video I want to watch later. <laughs> but no, I don't see the reasons why. Mm. <laughs> Somebody put Dodge, the, vish, the official car of fleeing suspects in Arkansas. They ain't lying. And them damn die. Challenger, Charger, Scat Pack, we have all your fleeing needs. Come on down to your local Dodge dealer today. <laughs> I, you know, if there's one car I cannot stand, I do not like those Dodge Chargers. I, I don't understand why people buy that shit. That, that Scat Pack, all that, hear me, uh, keep all that country country ass shit. I'm more of a Mercedes and BMW. I don't like nothing by Dodge except a Ram 2500 pickup truck. The 1500 is a waste of time. I rather have the 2500. I needed, I needed, I was down there looking at the Ram trucks and I saw them prices. I ran my ass back over to Atlanta. I was like, get the fuck out of here. They want too much money for these damn trucks. They want a lot of money from the damn trucks. I almost shit from Dodge. But it is kind of weird. I wish I can have more perspective, but y'all, now, can y'all imagine how that situation had ended if they had to shot that damn car up and them niggas would've got killed in that car? I could see Johnny, I could see, oh, uh, I was sharp to now getting on the plane, waking up, getting the phone, car. Ah, yeah, I got my money, I'm on my way. Where's Jesse Jackson? It's kind of weird, I ain't seen him in a minute. Does anybody know what's going on with Jesse Jackson? Jesse Jackson Jr., what, what's going on with them? Wherever, I, you know, I'm just curious. I know it's kind of off the but I am curious. Where, has anybody seen him recently? How's he doing? I'd love to know. But can y'all imagine if those officers had to shot up that car? The marching and protesting that be going on in Arkansas right about now. People got to start making wiser decisions. Some of this shit ain't making sense. Why are you running from the police for what reason? Do you really think you're going to get away from them? Do y'all think I'm about to, I, I have a car here that can go 200 miles per hour. Do y'all really think I'm going to run down the highway and run from the police in that car? Because I can get flipped up on the side of the road or in a ditch and somewhere off I-285? Really? These are just all my thoughts. Everybody will and think what they want to think. 
Anyway, I ordered some furniture from a local, from Havity Furniture, so I can go cancel that furniture. I'll need it now. Is it too, when you order furniture, can you cancel it when you want to? Is there a penalty? Does anybody know? I need to read that shit. They're going to read that. I have these fine print. And I said, I don't want them chairs no more. <laughs> You know, I get a refund back and they ain't delivering me. Yeah, I go down there, they're waiting for me. I like to cancel my chairs. What? You want to cancel your chairs? Yeah, I don't, I don't, want, I don't need those anymore. I don't need them. There's a couple of things I need to cancel. I ordered some bedroom furniture. Can I cancel that too? Johnny gave me 60 months. No interest. No, no, nothing. The 60 old man is cheap. And they just go straight to the prison. I don't know. Y'all, when they see, when I see that 0% finance for 60 months, you're not going to sign my ass up. Yeah, where I sign. But now I'm like, I don't, don't need it. I'm like, oh, we don't need this stuff. Uh, so they're going to be, that salesperson going to be mad at my ass, child. I had that $20,000 of friends. I don't need it no more. Can you cancel the order? How's that work? Because I've never really canceled furniture like that. I ain't took delivery of it. I should be able to just walk in and say, I don't want it. A refund, yeah, but that shit back on that Havity's card. The bedroom fringe I really could use, but I painted the bedroom. I know this off, off, off subject now, but I painted the bedroom. I don't think that bedroom's gonna go with that new color now. I thought about it. I love the new color I painted the bedroom, but I don't think that furniture is gonna match go too well in there. So I need to cancel that furniture. I know, I know. That sells the black salesperson too. He was so happy to sell some furniture. He ain't sold some no furniture. He had probably ain't sold no furniture. That's since 1972. He's oh, I didn't sold some furniture. He's all happy. He just don't know. I'm always trying to figure out how to cancel that shit. <laughs> I'm online looking how to cancel furniture from Harry's furniture. I'm reading the fine print. I can't. You cancel that damn word. Mm. I gotta go over there. I'm gonna get that counsel by phone. Hey, yeah, I just like to counsel it. See it right now. I hate doing stuff like that. But I really don't. The chairs are ordered and all that shit needed to see the counsel. I ordered these two white leather chairs that were gonna go in the living room. But I don't think they'll fit. So it's kind of like, don't need them. Not them prices. They're beautiful. All the stuff I ordered was beautiful. It was all Bernhardt furniture. I love Bernhardt furniture. I don't know if y'all. I know I'm way off topic right here, but yeah, I'd rather talk about burning our furniture and counsel the furniture than these niggas running up and down these damn highways about to get killed out there and killing other folks. This don't make no damn sense. Well, anyway, I'm going to leave Al. That's what Al Sharpton and the Reverend Jesse Jackson to go and defend these crazy ass niggas when they do get when something tragic happens. And nothing good can come out of running from the police with tragedy. I mean, come on now. Dodge Chargers may have big Hemi engines and a lot of torque, but they ain't designed to run from the damn police. Y'all know that car was all over the road. He couldn't hold that car down. Now, one thing I do know, driving Mercedes, it holds his lanes. I ain't got to be all over the place. I can correct my Mercedes. If you ever driven a Mercedes or a BMW, those cars can go very fast, but they stay, they hold the road. You don't even have to have a back and just hit a little button and just drive on his own. So, ooh, drive, take it on. Yeah. Running from the police. Not a good idea. Yeah, just my thoughts and opinions. But what you all want to see about this? Anybody can find some information on what took place while were they running from the police? <sighs> Niggas. Today is Monday, July 25th. The year is 2022. I'm out of here and enjoy the rest of you all's night.